Hey there guys and welcome back to Unjaded Jade. So I've actually just got back from the Girls in STEM event run by Accenture today. And you know what? I am feeling so empowered by the event today um, and just the kind of the whole idea of girls in STEM in general. So today's video is going to be reflecting on the event that I was very grateful to have attended today um, and also kind of chatting about the gender imbalance of girls and boys in STEM industries. Oh, and if you didn't actually know, STEM is basically just a fancy way of saying science, technology, engineering, and maths. So all the technological sciencey subjects and careers is kind of what that falls under. So the event today was hosted by Accenture and they are like, an amazing massive company at the forefront of like technological innovation and solving like real world global issues through technology. The event itself was hosted at the Crystal in London which is like this sustainable building where everything's just innovative about it and I basically just had the best time getting to go around and vlog and chat to all the primary school and secondary school girls, ask them about their opinions on STEM, whether they enjoy maths and science and technology kind of subjects. I got to see some amazing sciencey things. I'm a bit of a geek, so that was pretty fun. And I also got to attend some talks from quite a few different panelists and speakers. And I kid you not, I felt so inspired. I was sat there in this room full of strong, women who were so intelligent. So this one speaker at the start of the day, Jess Wade, um, she just captivated me with all the opportunities within STEM for women. I'll be honest, I guess I've never really considered tech as kind of a career path for myself, but sat there in that auditorium when she was speaking, I just felt so inspired to like look into it more. And I just think to myself, if that's, how, if that's how that made me feel, then I can only imagine how the young girls in that room must have felt. It really is up to events like this to inspire kind of the next generation of women, of girls to pursue careers in these technical, technological and scientific fields. It's about breaking the stereotypes, inspiring and empowering these girls and dispelling any myths about sciencey careers. For example, I'm just gonna whip out this statistic because I think it's crazy. So Accenture have also been doing some research with over 5,000 young women, young girls across the UK. They basically found that creativity is the number one aspiration for young, young girls and young women in the UK. However, most did not associate careers in STEM as being creative, which is truly mind boggling now that I've attended the event today and seen how creativity is like at the forefront of all the innovation going on. And I think events like this is so important in showing girls that you can love science and technology and computer science and still be creative and artsy. And in fact, the two actually blend so well together. Another crazy statistic, which I'm just gonna chuck out there is that half of young girls and young women actually find that STEM is too difficult to learn or perceive it as too difficult to learn. Whereas boys are much more confident in their ability to excel in these subjects. And I think this is a really underlying thing in society, in stereotypes, in parents and in teachers in, in thinking that STEM careers are more for boys. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna read this out, but two thirds of teachers admitted to stereotypes about girls and boys in relation to STEM. Like, what? Like, it's crazy. Jess Wade actually gave me this book today and it's called Inferior and it's about um, women and perceptions of women and, and their intelligence and things like that. Um, and their inferiority in um, like mainstream media and society. So I'm very excited to read that. But yeah, I'll be honest, when I was at primary school, I don't think I ever even really considered that I could go into maths or engineering or science. I think when I was in primary school, I, I do think I thought it was more of a boys subject. And it wasn't until I got into secondary school, especially because my secondary school is an all girls school, I think, that I realized how limiting of a concept that was and how STEM is for everyone. And it doesn't matter what gender you are. If you have a passion, go for it. I'm so grateful that events like these 
are there to inspire young girls and to help break those stereotypes. So yeah, if you yourself have an interest in science, technology, engineering or maths and you are a girl and you feel in the minority or you're worried what other people will think about you or perhaps, I don't know, your parents think that you should be pursuing something more girly, then let me just tell you that you should follow your passion 1000%, okay? STEM is such an amazing, rapidly evolving and exciting field um, and it needs more women just like you who are creative, who are empathetic, who have ideas that think outside the box. I mean, technology is intertwined with most things in the world nowadays and you could be at the forefront of putting a new sustainable twist on something we use every day. Literally, the opportunities are endless. Um, yeah, and that's something that was really highlighted to me today. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little video. I filmed a little vlog of my day, so if you wanna see that, the link is in my description, or I'll put it up here as well. Big thank you to Accenture for not only sponsoring this video, but also just for allowing me to attend an event that has such an important underlying cause that I'm so passionate about. No matter who you are, no matter what your gender is, follow what you are passionate about.